depends. Some kids don't give a shit about a bike. I don't, Isabella, weirdly, I don't think does, still doesn't know how to ride a bike. Really? She never picked it up. Yeah, it's just kids don't ride bikes like that anymore. I feel like is, uh, but she lives. Oh, she lives on Long Island. She lives in a place where you could definitely ride a bike around. She just doesn't ride a bike. I saw a kid riding a bike and texting, and I was like, man, I would have never been able to do that. Oh, I could have. I got pretty good on my bike. I could do the without holding the handles. I, I had about eighteen months where that was great, and, and then, then one, one wipeout. One wipeout, and you're like, all it takes. I ain't going back. And I remember it. On my mongoose, my handles just jutted real quick, and I was like, you had a goose? A, I had a goose. I saved up for the goose. Ooh. I didn't have a GT. I wasn't a rich asshole. Shit, it's rad. Yeah. I didn't have the, except I couldn't spin my handlebars. I would always eat I it I thought mongoose was always, you could, uh, full range of motion. That was the big thing about the goose. No, there were some gooses that didn't have that. Did you have pegs? No, I wasn't allowed them. You weren't allowed to have pegs? No. What a weird... Yeah, what a weird, what a weird roadblock to put up in your bike life. I, know. I have no idea why. why? I don't know. Mom, can I get pegs? No, <laughs> not in this house. I what? I don't know. Man, my mom always had some fucking strange ass rules. It's a weird thing. Like, that was it. Can I get a basket on the front? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, bike rules. Not in this house. Mom, what, the, what happened to you with pegs when you were younger? <laughs> She's like, we're not going to bring it up. Pegs, pegs are for evil children. <laughs> it's a peg-free house. <laughs> yeah, I will not. I will not have any pegs in this house, front nor back. <laughs> this is a Christian household, <laughs> and we will not have back, back wheel pegs. Ah, uh, next thing you know, there's just gonna be some guy sleeping on the couch, <laughs> eating all our food. You will not have someone pegging through your life, Daniel. <laughs> Pegs. That's a weird. <laughs> I just remembered that I wasn't allowed to. Have I had a bike. Did you have the handbrakes? No, no, no. We were all got to push the pedal back brakes. No handbrakes allowed in my house. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, that's just super dangerous. That was all handbrakes. <laughs> no brakes at all. Oh, yeah, no brakes at all. You had to just tap your feet on the ground really fast to try to slow yourself down. Jason, you belong. <laughs> you belong to a family of daredevils. <laughs> <laughs> you will not have brakes. We are the flying malachis. <laughs> <laughs> my father came over here. From the island of Ponza. <laughs> <laughs> now take that bike and ride, and ride it across a tight wire between two buildings. Dude, I'll never forget this. Uh, when I was a kid, I was like eight years old, and I had an orange bike called Mud and Guts. What? what? My mom bought me the first bike I ever Was it a bike you buy in line while you're waiting for the grocery store? It's a Target bike. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like next to Reese's bike. Pieces. Yeah, 100%. We were like, hey, what's that one? Mud and guts? Yeah. Mom, can I get some Reese's Nets? Can I get this bike? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of this bike? Do you have bike money this month? Uh, the mud and guts. Yeah, I remember that because the first bike I ever got was a white Huffy, and all my friends were like, that's a girl bike. I had a nice Kent. You had a Kent? I had a Kent. With, uh, remember they put the thing, I realize now what it was for, it was your uh, dick protector for the bar that goes across. Yeah. There was like a Velcro. Yeah. Like tube. Yeah, that was you know, for. That go around it. So if you your, came off the bike. In case your dick came down that crossbar. Which is weird because uh, women's bikes has that dip, and that makes a lot more sense for guys. Not to have the crossbar. Yeah, I mean, you know? chicks, you just probably have things sticking straight up. You should probably, well, they don't yeah. want it. <laughs> yeah, the, I just imagined a senior editor at Huff, or a senior guy at Huffy. This is the puzzle bar. This will <laughs> this will wreck them. Have you ever seen the videos of the girls riding dildo bikes? No, but that it would be something that I think you have seen. Of I've, course. Why would I bring it up? <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> I'm not assuming that exists. I'm telling you, I've seen the videos. <laughs> If you could bring that up, Christine, it's pretty interesting. It looks super uncomfortable. Oh. No, no, that's, I mean, that's pretty uncomfortable looking, too. That's a stationary bike, which doesn't, not as impressive. No, there's not, there's not pebbles or rocks. We got to get one hitting the road. Japanese dildo bikes. There we go. Japanese, of course. Two things coming look, together. Look, look, look what, oh. that's pretty crazy. The Japanese Dude. really are techno. Uh, they're so suppressed sexually that they come up with the coolest, weirdest sex shit. Are they suppressed, Japanese? I mean, they always blur out their dicks and their porns and stuff. But they make dildo bikes. And look, see, it goes in and out. That's pretty crazy. Oh, but she's like riding around. This is low key if you just want to go get fucked while you ride a bike. Yeah, you know what's, what's pretty the crazy volume about it? it is like, uh, probably great Japanese music. That is about spirit of orgasm. Uh, it's go inside and then come outside. 
Look at her. She's wearing sweatpants, so this is kind of a down low thing. It's pretty hot in a weird way. Um, but she also... Unless you got into a bike accident, you're like, oh my god, I, your, pussle got, your pussy came out. <laughs> I, you keep saying pussle. I don't know why. Pussle, I like that word. Pussle damage. Um, the thing about the one that go that pumps in and out when you pedal is, I would say... It's got to stay inside the whole time because you don't want it to like miss, come up and miss. Oh, or what if you hit a hill and it, I imagine it goes with the pedals. So if you start really booking it down a hill, mm -hmm. if you let it go and not keep your <laughs> foot on the pedal, it just ran. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a thrust that I've never felt oh, before. No dildo bikes in oh. San Francisco. Ah, uh, yeah, it's some Japanese, some disgraced Japanese physicist. <laughs> I have built a perfect a dildo bike. <laughs> I will show you. You did fucking my wife are perfect. <laughs> Can you, uh, I like, there's so many things. Just dildo bikes. Uh, go to the one that says Alyssa rides a dildo bike. <laughs> I that somehow got turned into dildo bikes. <laughs> and you got out of the car to get cigarettes and got back in. You're like, now we're talking about dildo bikes? <laughs> oh, I think oh, it's, she's sucking the dildo bike. We were talking about. That's a little much. We were talking about the first Kent. My first Kent bike, and it turned into a dildo. By the way, my first bike was also a dildo bike. <laughs> yeah, Jay, it's just like, turns out it I learned... It took me years to find out all bikes didn't have pedal-activated dildos in them. I hated bikes for the first three years. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny, that guy running next to her like a proud parrot. <laughs> You're doing it! You're doing it! Okay, he goes, I think you can let go now. Uh, yeah. Hey, I let go five minutes ago. <laughs> You've, you've been being fucked by that bike on your own for the past. For the hell? Come on her face dot com, giving us such you know, great material. Really I'll tell you what's interesting. This girl, I know that's the name of the site. This girl, come on her face dot com. Good site. <laughs> um, if you're curious how it ends, always they come on her face. Um, the, I'll tell you what this is. Unless it's the season finale, then they want to throw it for a curve. I, I will say one thing: there's no gray area on dildo bike videos. It's either super discreet. Asian girls or getting fucked through a, a small hole in their pants yeah. or a butt naked Brazilian riding around town <laughs> through a park with men running next to her on dildo bike. Wait, oh, and she just shows up to where there's already things happening and they're already ready to come on her face. Dude, nothing makes me, and I know no one can see us at home, but nothing makes me more jealous than a, a fat guy with a big dick. Because I'm just like, well, all big guys like me, we just don't have big dicks. But some guy, do. This guy's in a nice push-up position. I mean, that just went right from dildo bike to gangbang. Yeah. Uh, she rode a dildo bike to a gangbang, which actually, in hindsight, might be the best prep. I think it's genius. I think she was warming up. That's you like her up. wearing those full sweat. It's like when a fighter wears full sweatsuits. Absolutely. Like, always oh, breaking a good sweat before this fight. You can't peek too much. That's like the that's the porn version of rolling out when you yeah. roll out before a thing on the roll on the little uh, or, the foam rollers. Yeah, or you know, like when receivers get running starts, like how they used to in like the C in the <laughs> yeah. CFL, they can like run before the, a waterfall start. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, good for this dildo girl. bike. So there you go. Get for your kid. Get your kid a mud and guts dildo bike. <laughs> They're available at Target. <laughs> at Target, at the, Target, Reese's Pieces. But the reason I brought up mud and guts was, I was going down a hill one time. I, I was eight, and my friend Jason was at the bottom of the hill. He's like, "Hey, stop! There's a car!" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, dude. I'll jump it." <laughs> and I sh and I just went in the street, and this old car was like, "Oh!" and just completely avoided me. I mean. Feet away from creaming me. By the way, if ever there was a brand that should be the dildo bike, it'd be Mud and Guts. <laughs> Let this bike get off in your guts. <laughs> you need to churn up your mud or churn up your guts. <laughs> Either way. Either way. You're getting churned up. Get churned up oh, with Mud and Guts. I want to know if they make a dildo bike video where they really mic the dildo. like... <laughs> <laughs> or one where they go off road with it, where it's like a real mountain bike, oh. <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like, like extreme biking yeah. down the side of a mountain. Oh, 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 go, oh, 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 god, oh, god, there's a clearing. No, 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 oh, go, go, all these bumps. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about go, some... Go, 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 <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to see a Japanese lady be all, like, sly about it. Like, ramp. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, fuck, I just came. I just came everywhere. Fuck, that ramp just did it.
You're like, oh. baby, baby, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do to get you off? Uh, we have to go to up to the higher altitude. <laughs> I gotta bomb down the side of a 14er. I don't know. You got a dirt track in this bum fuck town. <laughs> you wanna watch? Go, me? go, go, go. Uh, wanna watch me do a sick jump? <laughs> Oh, she's not a size queen. She's just a dirt whore. Well, it's like, I go guts on the uh, slalom days. Yeah. I go mud well, straight away. It is our anniversary. Maybe I'll do some Maybe I'll do some mud. <laughs> yeah. You want me to try some mud today? You uh, going to go for a couple's bike ride? Yeah. If no one makes a mud and guts dildo bike, then you're an idiot. Is there a tandem dildo bike? <laughs> Does that exist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Right, a threesome Man, boys, tell me about my best, best friend. friend. Go, go. He goes, he goes, have you come yet? He goes, no, I'm doing all the pedaling. Oh, hello, you selfish bitch. Why don't you help? Smacking that ass. <laughs> People let me tell you about I think, I think 2016, 2017 going to be a big year for dildo bikes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we got to take it back. We, we got to take a break. but uh, Already? No, we got a little bit of time, Jacob. What do you think? Oh, he just gave a little high five. Ooh. A little Jacob paw. Five, four, three, two. Dildo bike! <laughs> I just he put he's putting on goggles. Cut to Jacob in New Hampshire somewhere, and they are in the Catskills. <laughs> time to bomb down. Oh, at the live show, we should definitely present Jacob a dildo bike. Should we give away a dildo bike at the live show? <laughs> we should give away one dildo bike. Could, do you think that'd be possible, Jacob, for us to get a dildo bike? I'm certain. Can we get a custom made dildo bike? If anyone's no, in the bicycle game, I want me game, and you to make the dildo bike. <laughs> welder's mask on. I, pro I promise you, there's someone out here listening to this show at some yeah. point that has the engineering ability to make a dildo bike pretty cheap, pretty easy. Why don't you just make the seat? Why is that make, supposed to mean? Make the bike seat with the dildo on it, and then you just attach it to a regular bike. No, that's not how it works, Lou. I don't no. know if you watch the technology of dildo bike. There's got to be some you... mechanism that the pedaling pumps yeah. it into your mud and guts. <laughs> uh, yeah, it can't just be... Uh, you're not just going to be... That sucks, just you know, sitting on a dildo. Lou, I'm you upset just, you by just that. showed yourself how low rent you are. God, I just made a fool of myself. What you, Wait, you're just, just going to sit on a fucking dildo the whole time and not have it pump? You'd be the worst... Fuck if you were a lady. They just lay there. Wait, she's like, Lou is a chick. Is it in? <laughs> Leave it there. Let it soak. <laughs> Lou, wants a, Lou wants a fucking uh, a dead lay missionary dildo bike. Yeah. Just laying there, legs hey, open. Can, uh, is there a dildo bike that can uh, make me feel like I've been in a marriage for 20 years? <laughs> and then this I'm is just going to lay it in you and fall asleep. <laughs> you just move around until you get yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the stew comes out of you, Lou. Doesn't and I don't like it. Oh, uh, we really do got to get Lou drunk on air. We're, we're talking about that. Yeah, we, we have to do it on nothing where he has nothing else to do after the show. I'll get tossed with Lou. Just be a love fest. Oh, let's, dude. Let's do it on the live show tonight. And we'll do it. We'll be like, uh, we'll be like, dude, dude, we're going to make so much money off dildo bikes. Yeah. You'll see. Merkface has got a, a dildo bike update. 800 bucks. Yeah, 800. It took me no time to find a website. $800? That's, that's ridiculous. <sighs> I bet we could have it made it cost. Oh, wait, it's a website that sells... What's it called? 1-800-7-CARS-FOR-KIDS. 888-DILDO bikes for whores. Yeah. We'll make your bike today. What is it? Bling! Christine, can you bring it up on the screen so we can see this? I mean, bikes. Can, do we have the budget? What does Comedy Central think about I investing it? I think we could hit, Take this some of the I think we hit this website up, and if we plug the website... We will give the website... Such a big, as much plugging as the dildo we'll bike. Give away a dildo bike we'll away to a kid who's like then good in school. Yeah. Okay. Dildo bike. Oh, it's stationary though. No, oh. I, oh, I like that you guys have done your research. I need a neighborhood riding bike. Uh -huh. A riding fucking bicycle. Yeah. Oh, that's great. It's got it's got a low rider too. It's pretty gangster, except yeah. for the fact that that thing is. Hey, going. what's up? Where did you get that low rider? And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little worried about the positioning of this dildo. It looks like it's only mud. Yeah, it's definitely only mud. It's, it's on the pretty, back of the seat. It's pretty in the back there. But um, if we could find what's the company? I bet we could find a camper who could make us one. I'm certain we can find an industrious camper who can make us one. But then we're getting into uh, cost again. I'm one, I'm trying to think here. I'd rather give money to a camper than I would to just some crack website that's selling lowrider buttfuck bikes. I would too, but 
I'm wondering if we can get a donated dildo bike if we give it away uh, at a show and keep mentioning the website. Yeah. Christmas I mean, comes early. <laughs> Christmas C-U-M's early. Is there any company that just makes dildo bikes, or is it just some guy makes a dildo bike? And just a, up on the just a frantic man in his garage. Honey, I told you I'm working on my car. That car hasn't been fixed in 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> just got a fleet of dildo bikes in the backyard. <laughs> mm, I know. Oh, you just hear all the... He's just welding. <laughs> Perfect. Just as I imagined it. You're looking at just a regular bike now. No. Yeah. Is Christine building her dream dildo bicycle? She's like, all right, first of all, <laughs> I'm going to get a dildo bike. This thing's going to be on a fucking... If we're going top notch... Yeah, because this thing's going to be on a Schwinn. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going no bullshit here. Pegs included. Um, There's going to be dildo bike factory you looked up that's a weird google search that that i love next time somebody goes to do it it's already been done i bet we <laughs> set the precedent on that one <laughs> dildo bike goes well in this town you know you either learn how to play guitar <laughs> or you go to work at the dildo bike factory <laughs> <laughs> yeah no things were good until 87 and they shut down half the dildo bike factory <laughs> my hometown i guess pussies changed in america oh uh, there's got to be a bruce springsteen song in there somewhere she Working at a dildo bike factory. <laughs> Lucy <laughs> met me down at work after the dildo bike factory <laughs> shut the down. The smell of rubber and metal <laughs> in the air made her think of that dildo factory <laughs> she got away from. <laughs> <laughs> I said, meet me down at the mud and guts factory. After work, we're going to get out of this place and run away. <laughs> Living in the town, <laughs> doing everyone <laughs> 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 me and uh, me and Fenoya will just, just do uh were we doing that for you the one day the Bruce Springsteen songs it's like you gotta just pick a, a good name for a girl and whatever you're doing and then it's because you're living in whatever it is town yeah like, me and Susie went down to get a burger we were starving all day cause we're living here in hungry town <laughs> <laughs> Dildo Bike Factory though might have to go onto that list of Springsteen lyrics oh yeah Absolutely. <laughs> in one of his little rants in the beginning, he goes, I remember I was working down as a teenager. Best job you can get in town was down at the Mud and Guts Dildo the Bike Factory. 19, 1967. My dad <laughs> let me go out and get my first job. I applied at the Mud and Guts Dildo Bike Factory. I wrote this song about it. It was either go to war. I wasn't fighting no war I didn't believe in. I said, I'll be over at the Mud and Guts Dildo the Bike Factory if anybody needs me. Five years ago, I was playing a concert in Alabama. A woman came up to me and said, uh, when I was a little girl, for Christmas, I got a mud and guts dildo bike and, and fucked my pussy so well, I went on to become a doctor. <laughs> this song's for her. <laughs> and I was married. <laughs> Living down in Alabama, bad about it. You can smell. fucked on the way to school and back home again. Hey, you know, we start playing a little, little interlude. Goes, you know... You could always tell when you were home because you could smell the burning smell of rubber as they burned off all the dildos that didn't make the cut. They had a very high standard. My daddy died when I was 27 years old. I went home to clean out my house, and I found the first dildo back every day. <laughs> my mom said, your daddy rode that. I said, I thought I didn't know daddy was in the ass play. And I wrote this next song. I found my daddy's calipers for measuring the perfect size of back dildo. Turns out my daddy was a size queen. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out... <laughs> Turns out my daddy liked to get his butthole fucked. <laughs> now, you learn a lot of things about your daddy after they pass. The one thing I was most surprised about was my daddy was a size queen. He locked it big and he locked it long. They said, you never become a man until you bury your father. <laughs> when I did, I found out my dad had a, a gaping white asshole. <laughs> and that's why he can never say he loved me. Because he can never sit down comfortably. <laughs> this next song's for real. Papa, this is for you. <laughs> All up in your guts, wherever you are. I hope you finally got a closed butthole up in heaven. <laughs> And you're filled with the love you were looking for. I hope and I was riding down, <laughs> coming, getting butt fucked, 
every morning on his way to work. Uh, man, I bet you what, if you hit a hill on this thing, though, a downhill, like, it's basically a free ride. That's where you really just get to just let it uncork on Or you, you make that noise that the guy made where he got killed fucking that horse. What was that noise? The sound of, like, your tongue swelling. <laughs> 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 Let's do, our, let's do our best getting fucked to death by a horse noise. Dude, I'll tell you, that was my. I think we may have found that early on yeah. in the show, but that girl, that noise that girl makes when the horse just lines up and drills her, and she's like, boom, 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 boom. That's a gobble, gobble. This horse is dead, bud. <laughs> horse is dead, bud. <laughs> That's the best. We're like, all right, just. All right, just ease him in. Just ease, ease him, him in. in. There he is. All right, buddy. Hey, Thunder, don't get to it. Okay. Oh, that one I'm talking about, the horse just mounts. <laughs> Hold on, we're almost there. Just aim it, and... I'm sorry. I'm so full. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad because he's trying to do work, and we're just talking about Bruce Springsteen's dead. Oh, he's doing recording work, too, and just in the background, you just hear guys mimicking, getting <laughs> fucked by horses and riding dildo bikes. He's like, uh, in this week's uh, debate update, Hillary Clinton... Bull! Bull! Horses! Buttfucking! Bull! Dildo bike! Uh, after that last break, it's real hard to listen to Spring Seed <laughs> straight face. And I was riding on a dildo bike. <laughs> Me and Susie went down to the lake. It's Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder, that's Big J. Okerson. That's the boss, Bruce Springsteen, on Bruce Springsteen Wednesday. Susie locked it in the mud, and I locked it in the guts. And everyone in between knew that we were crazy in love. <laughs> Down by the river, <laughs> on a tandem dildo bike, <laughs> built by my daddy. If you don't know, we were talking about dildo bikes. We're looking for one.